Let us see. Oh, my goodness. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietrus. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. That's waiting. Hopefully, it will dissipate before I'm arriving there. Last night the wind died down, or maybe this morning, three o'clock. <laughs> and um, it's always three o'clock, and it's always in the night. So, decided to go straight for San Juan and, um, and the weather said that if I carry on like this I will eventually find the wind again. Um, there is just no wind, nothing, just a big storm. <laughs> it is dead calm. <laughs> And there's a couple of the storms that I showed you is gone. There's still one left there. But yeah, the sea is dead calm. Which gives me an opportunity to to fix some stuff that has broken that first night on Sisu. And uh, and I have to do stuff here too. Not good. <laughs> ah. And I need to go and fix fix that. But now this is compromise. Just now I'm falling through and then. <laughs> so that one just have to wait. So we are at, at anchor. Where I don't fall that far. <laughs> At anchor I will just fall and stay there, dunks, and stay there, while I need to swim to the back. But if I fall here, it's very far. <laughs> I will be there and Sisu will just carry on, on autopilot. That's, that's falling far. <laughs> and that is what caused the chafing. Up, down, up, down, and then put the water force. A lot of shaking, <laughs> and I've discovered another one. Just one thing about about these these lines. It looks very unsafe now, um, but you will see the way it is tied is like it's tied from there. To here and then from there to there so it's every quarter is every side is in in half so over there is another tie and then there and then there's another one so 
if one quarter of a side or one half of a side is compromised it's just that one half side so it's not that you that it you will fall through um, it's only that one line one half of one side that will be compromised still not a good thing but if it's broken <laughs> or shaped through but it, the thing is it's not that unsafe someone thought about this maybe someone did that fall a very long fall <laughs> yeah big thunderstorm around four to six miles from me the wind wants to be okay it's now about seven knots um, i've got the sails up oh, and the main sail up but the engines are still on i've got this door open so nice to have a breeze coming through i will shut it down very shortly the moment i think the Wait, is coming on and I'm sitting here and working on my on my boat checks app so all of this code I'm now busy working on and okay can you guys see so all of this I'm now busy working on and here it is so it's already working you can slide it, you can complete it, and you can undelete it, and you can to do so all sorts of things you can do. And you can see what it is, these pictures, the completion dates, and everything. So watch this space. It's coming to uh, Apple Store and uh, Google Play Store near you, like in your palm of your hand. I think oh, it's time. Let's see if we can get this boat sailing again. I think we need to close this one too. Okay, all the doors are closed, the windows are closed, even this one is now closed. And man, it is hot inside here now. <laughs> oh, I think the humidity must be like. I don't think it can be 200, but it has to be something, something above 100. It is hot, I'm sweating. But let's see, I just checked now here on my iPad. The wind is just, just getting to 10 knots and it's gusting every now and then. So let's see, maybe we can, we can sail. Okay, now the wind is, is gusting. So we will definitely be able to sail. Let us just first switch it. So we see what's happening. Yeah, we're dropping, but it's holding. I can see there's a current against us 4.2 versus 5.1 and it says 1.3 the current of 1.3 is against us but let's see oh i think we can work with this okay i'm going to get from the genoa for 50 to 60 that's it I think we can sail now feather the props and we are sailing night is here we are sailing not sure how far and how long we're going to sail 
It's getting a little bit balanced here again. So there's a wind. <laughs> um, so great. But the wind is also not so great. So right now and then there's a gust up to 12, but most of the time it is around 10, 11. But we make, we're going forward and that is what counts and we go forward for free. But there is a little bit of a cross, well that shake Sisu Algon on a little bit. Not majorly. And there's a moon out. Not sure I can show you guys. Let's see. about that <laughs> so I can see I can see the sea the wind just died it's now half past two in the morning yeah <laughs> obviously <laughs> um, and it yeah so now I still have the Genoa up but I can see because the wind, the true wind speed is so low, the apparent wind speed is coming more and more head on. Um, yeah, and as you can hear, I started the engine. So I'm still using a little bit of wind that I can get to, to assist. So the engine and the sails, they are both working out. So it's motor sailing, but not just motor sailing, I'm actually using a wind angle as well. To be able to sail. So if there's a gust coming up, like now there's a gust. If the gust is coming up, my my apparent wind is shifting a uh, shifting a little bit. De, 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 de. <laughs> yeah. So it it's gusting to nine knots. <laughs> um, but most of the time when the wind dies, I just select a beeline for that for the target waypoint and go for it um, until we find wind again if i looked at the weather predictions and i can see there's a clear pattern of wind then i will go to the closest point where i will find wind again but in this case there's there's already a lot of thunderstorms around here so i think the the predictions don't know what to what to do with this i can see some places here is wind and other places there is wind and here's a blue hole a blue like a, a lull and here's a lull so they, they don't even agree on where the lulls are and when it's going to be but or obviously I eat one now um, so I'm just going more or less straight the moment the wind dies down completely I will go 100% straight for the target or else, if the wind is coming up, I will start using a wind angle again and start sailing. If I'm not mistaken, I still have over here just a little bit over 150 miles to go. And at five knots, we can do uh, 120 miles but now as you can see we're doing about 3.6 3.7 knots it's a current I'm actually inside the current now we will be outside the current very soon <coughs> uh, so when I was sailing with the wind it was fine but now that the wind is not there I need to go through the current <laughs> oh. slowing me down I think I think two days more sailing. I saw some rain and then I we would have missed it so I diverted quickly to go and catch some a quick wash. <laughs> There's so much salt, it's incredible. But now at least something, something, not everything but something, something is getting washed. The stanchions and the stays and the sails. Oh, maybe I should get my. Let me let me get the Genoa out too. Let it also get a wash. Well, <laughs> that was for five minutes. The rain is gone. <laughs> that was a quick one. Yeah, no more rain anywhere. Okay, 
I, I'm sailing, but it's not necessarily in the right direction, as per usual, but because the <laughs> the wind is coming from the wrong direction. But I will get closer to land and then see what happens with the wind when I get there. But there's also these humongous big clouds that's waiting for me and it's all over the island and on that side is even bigger ones that size is definitely lightning I don't like lightning <laughs> now you can you can you can almost for every single disaster on a boat you can make provision for or be ready for it but for a lightning strike it's nothing that was short lift <laughs> we are motoring again because the wind is like seven six but i still have the genoa up and i'm getting as close as the genoa will allow me oh you see those big waves <laughs> Not good. That is because I want to try and get an angle closer to the island. Or oh, actually, we need to go like over there on the other side of the island. So, um, I will look at the at this little yellow thing here. The moment it goes like now, maybe it's better now to tack to the northern side. See that little dotted line is basically the divider it like this so that the dotted line so at the moment this yellow one is more on the other side on, on our side I will need to go jump to the other side so maybe I should let me try okay tack the Genoa to the other side and look at that looks much better we will now at least go more in our direction that we want to go <laughs> Watch this, here's the Puerto Rico Trench. <laughs> 8,100 meters. That's crazy, it's deeper than the, the Mount Everest is high. <laughs> oh, this is a very big trench. I didn't go over it, so I just went through here, through here, but and I'm on my way now to San Juan but 8,000 meters deep that is damn damn deep look at that wow I can see Puerto Rico the lights already I can see land the destination land I saw a lot of land before but this is the destination island I can see it but it's still 55 miles to go. It's a pretty long island this. <laughs> Although it looks so small on the, on the charts, it looks very small. And tiny in compar comparison with the Dominica Republic and so on. But yeah, I can see the lights. But it's still a long way to go. Not sure you guys can yeah, you guys can see. So we are now there just getting to the top of the island and we I need to go all the way there so it's not even to the end of the island just three quarters and it is 54 miles still to go so bloody big island going to take me forever to get there but at least I see I see the destination land and lights I also see a lot of lightning Hmm. <laughs> and I'm not sure I can show this to you guys but because we, we're moving quite up and down still on engines still no oh well there's seven knots of wind um, not much to work with whoa big lightning everywhere there is lightning over on that side there there is lightning there is lightning there is lightning and oh and it's all the way there 
So it's basically the whole hole in front of me is just lightning. I dropped the main. There was no wind and these clouds were coming like crazy and I'm not sure what they can do. But there is Puerto Rico and San Juan is right in front of us. I'm almost there. So it feels good. I think it's still, still a couple of miles to go. Uh, and then it's going to be, I'm not sure, check in or sleep first. <laughs> uh, I will see what customs is going to tell me, but if I can, I will sleep for two days, but I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> but anyway, looks like I've made it. There is now wind again, 10 knots, uh, but there's huge waves. We're not, not sure where they come from, maybe from the storm. Check out that big, it's like a tree trunk stump. It's a very big thing. If you eat that thing at night, and you will not see it. <laughs> if you eat that thing at speed at night, you will definitely know you eat it. Yo, yo, yo. Entering San Ju Juan, San Juan Bay. And this is one of the forts. There's, there's, a, there's a couple of them. This is only one. Uh, here's another one on this side. It's too far for you guys to see. And then just on the other side of Old Town, there's another one. And I believe here's another one. Lots of things to protect here. Yeah. I think. Everything is just salt, salt, salt. But I, I managed to anchor. And this is oh, Puerto Rico. We anchored here in, oh, I anchored here in San Juan. Looks. Guess what? Look who's on the boat. <laughs> Back up! <laughs> and yeah, guess what Peter wants to do for the first for the first day on a boat. <laughs> she wants to go on land. <laughs> <laughs>